Hi friend, Ashley here. Welcome to the Unlock Your Dream podcast. I'm here to guide you along your journey to unlocking your dreams to achieve the best life that you can imagine possible. From my journey in medicine as a PA and then some in the corporate world, I always still desired a little bit more out of life. It wasn't until I met some people who had seen their dreams realized that it occurred to me that maybe just maybe mine could come true too. Come along with me as we get to know some of these friends of mine and hear their stories of unlocking their dreams. Hi friend, welcome back this week to the Unlock Your Dream podcast. This week we have a really new and good friend of mine, thanks to the Southern Sea shout out, uh, Drew Defer of Luna Marketing Studio. Let me give you a little bit about her background and then I'm just going to let her dive on in. So she is the founder and CEO of Luna Marketing Studio, which is a boutique marketing firm with a mission for a custom tailored marketing strategy to build trustworthy relationships and brands online. She is nestled in Northwest Arkansas and she leaves a collaborative team of passionate people who work one-on-one -on -one with local, national, and international marketing clients. Not a small thing. So we're just going to dive on in, Drew. I'm just going to let you share a little bit about your story and how you got to be this amazing CEO of Luna Marketing Studio. Yes. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I'm already a huge fan of yours. Um, okay. So Luna um, was my COVID moment. That's what I refer to it as. Uh, I was living in New York City at the time um, during 2020 when COVID hit. And um, I moved back home. I call it my 19 hour drive of shame back to my mama's couch, the house that I grew up in. And um, I, I needed, oh, actually I'm a backup. I was going through a divorce and um, I needed a way to provide for myself. And so I'd been in the marketing industry for a long time. Um, but starting your own business is entirely different than working for someone else's vision and dream. And so I was like, mm, I'm just going to take on a few clients, see how it goes. And so for the first year, I just kind of like played at my business. I just kind of, you know, I didn't fully take it seriously until it started growing beyond what I, um, what I could do on my own. So Luna's birthday was actually this month. I filed for my LLC August of 2020 and um, I haven't looked back. And I will say we love working with women. Um, I, I'm all about like a luxury experience mm -hmm. and um, we do marketing strategy, social media management, email marketing, Pinterest, web design. And um, I also do uh, coaching marketing coaching for women in business. So that's kind of Luna. Um, I have an amazing team. I cannot end this without saying that. Um, this is definitely not a one man show. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have six amazing people, including my husband who um, work with me at Luna. That's incredible. I did not realize that about your husband. That's going to be pretty powerful when your vision, like you said, it is really hard. And we have a lot of entrepreneurs who listen to this podcast to go from that working for someone else's vision to then being on your own and having your own vision. And then I love that you even take it a step further with now your husband's a part of this vision, which yes. I feel like is that, how does that work? Is that pretty fun? Does it feel like it adds a lot of pressure? I'm super curious. No, no. Well, I will say he has a day job. Um, okay. He works at a hospital. Um, he works in management at a hospital. And then he is like our CFO, all things accounting, taxes, payroll, all the things. Um, but yes, yeah. We just have very clear boundaries and mm -hmm. expectations now. It wasn't like that in the beginning, full transparency. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he is, Farron is my number one cheerleader and he loves Luna um, like I do. So that's incredible. I think there's a good tidbit in there for people that are working with, whether it's spouses or close friends or family, that communication and boundaries piece. I feel like that's not something we've touched a lot here on the podcast before, but I bet, and I'm sure that's probably key. That's incredible. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. So I know Luna, gosh, four years old. Next year, you're going to have to do something really big for five. <laughs> but you have had way more than that experience in digital marketing, coaching, and storytelling. You know, I'm reading your bio and it's 
really 11 years of experience, which I think is incredible. And I love that you touched on that luxury experience. And kind of with that in mind, what are the ideal client or someone that might need you, might want to come find you for, obviously we'll give a chance for people to connect with you at the end today, but the people that really you feel like, like you said women, but then I've heard you say high capacity women before, but who is that client that really you can help tell that story for? Absolutely. So, um, I, and not just me, my team in general, we love working with women who aren't playing at business. They are taking their business very serious. Um, They see that marketing and just in general, their business is an investment of their time, their energy, and their finances. Mm -hmm. And we work really hard with our clients. We roll up our sleeves and we get to work. Um, And so I I always tell our clients, we're going to work as hard as you're working. We're going to treat your business like it's our business. Um, And so I love working with women who um, have a vision and they are amazing at delegating as well and just really letting us do our job. Um, the, The luxury experience to me, and this is why I say Luna is a boutique marketing studio. We're not trying to work with everyone all at once. Um, We're actually changing our business model and um, we are in a scaling season, but for us scaling is we're actually scaling back the amount of clients that we serve so that we can serve our clients at a greater capacity um, Mm -hmm. and with a more excellent effort. Um, But yeah, so luxury to me means it is a very handheld approach. Um, You are not alone as you are building your brand and scaling your business. You have direct access to us. A lot of times when you work with an agency, um, you don't hear back from someone, you know, Mm -hmm. quickly and it can still feel kind of lonely in business, but we really are accessible to our people and we take them and their business very seriously. And we're super fun. I mean, that's something that I will say, and not to toot our own horn here, but kind of, um, that is something that I've had several clients say, and that's like, that's been not surprising, but a little bit of like feedback, like, oh, okay. Like we are fun. Like marketing can be daunting and intimidating. And it's that part, it's that branch of the business that you're like, man, do you really understand me? Are you really mm-hmm. going to portray me and my company in the way that I want to be seen, known, and heard? And so we just, we try to make that experience fun and exciting. That is amazing. Yeah, I agree. I feel like that probably means that you guys are just being authentically you because you're not trying to be that. But if that's the feedback that you got, I totally can relate to that. Feels like it's hard to hand that over to someone. And yet, like you said, I feel like a lot of times you pay for things in time or money. And so if you have the expertise of you and your team to really go forward and do something and it's fun as your marketing department, I mean, why? that sounds incredible. I love that. Yeah. Um, again, reading back through your bio, you've had, you know, you've done everything from homesteading to luxury skincare, interior designs, lifestyle brands. So really, it sounds like your boutique experience could be for any kind of really niche industry. And so yes. I want people just to realize it's not just you know, just a one size fits all. I think that's really cool. The the span of the clients that you and your team have taken on. Absolutely. And we love that. We love working with a diverse range of clients. Um, we all have, you know, a powerful story to tell, whether you are in the homesteading industry or a luxury skincare line. Um, I just love getting to be a part of it. That's amazing. Um, what are some people, maybe or connections that you met or had along the way that have helped you get to where you are? I know, obviously you mentioned your husband being such a cheerleader, which is incredible, but any advice or maybe connections along the way that helped you get where you are? Yeah. I mean, I will say number one, my mama, um, and here in Arkansas, we call our mama's mama. Um, my mom has been my number one cheerleader, um, I had a pretty interesting childhood and that's not something that I talk about a lot of times, you know, you meet someone and you have this idea of their childhood and things being easy. Things were not easy for me. I grew up in poverty. Um, We were very poor. My mom was a single mom, Um, but that is, and I'm the youngest of three girls and I grew up on a homestead. I grew up on a 90 acre homestead in the middle of nowhere, Arkansas. And So, you know, looking at me and Luna and you would never imagine that. 
And, but anyways, my mom has always been my number one cheerleader. She's always told me that, that and believed in me and, and invested that in my heart that I can do anything that I set my mind to. Nothing is off limits. And so my mom is my number one. Farron, obviously my husband, he is incredible. Um, he also helps me do the heavy lifting things in the business that good gosh, I do not want to do. And I could probably could not do. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have an incredible hype team around me. I mean, my team, they are an incredible support again, couldn't do it without them, but, um, yeah, there have been those people along the way who have, you know, even if they've just taken the time to get to know my story and prayed with me, um, prayed me through some hard times, um, mm -hmm. been a safe place to land as I've gone through massive transitions in my life. But yeah, I would say my mom and Farron and my team are consistently the people who are there for me. And I will say, I want to give my little brain trust a shout out because they are amazing. Sharissa Owens with Sharissa Owens Art and Audrey. They are just amazing. Um, you are actually working, you're going to be working with Audrey potentially. Um, Audrey Adele, she is incredible. So I definitely lean on those gals a lot. And we have an episode with Teresa coming up too. So teaser. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's awesome, girl. Yeah, it's just, I feel like we've gotten to this place, at least the group of women that we've been surrounded by where we really are in it to win it together. And I feel like there's just no place for competition and comparison. We really are just collaborating, creating something really beautiful. So super yeah. grateful for that. I love that family piece. Um, so obviously Luna, four years old, have there been any moments that either really surprised you in a good way, or maybe some twists and turns where it felt like a failure in the moment or something like that, where you feel like, okay, gosh, looking back, we did it. And it was actually a success on the back end. Yeah. Okay. Let me think about that for a second. I mean, we've definitely had like great surprises, you know, dream clients reaching out, wanting to work with us. I mean, that's just like a number one. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, um, some mouth droppers, <laughs> jaw droppers for sure. Um, but I, I think I would like to speak more on the twist and turns because I feel like that's where the, the magic is for people as they're on their entrepreneur journey. Um, uh, full transparency. I think one of the biggest surprises for me in my journey, um, I hired someone who was amazing. She is amazing. And I love her and respect her, but it wasn't the right hire. And um, it actually happened to be one of my friends. And I'd known her for a really long time. And just because someone loves you and supports you doesn't mean that they're necessarily the right fit for your company. And um, I think that that's probably one of the biggest learning lessons along the journey is sometimes the, the, the people that will support you the most and be there for you the most and, and do what it takes to help your business succeed are people who don't really even know you hardly at all. You know, yeah. it's just like the kindness of a, an internet friend or a stranger. And so, um, I, that really taught me to, to be very mindful, um, and Luna's culture and what we need as a company. That's so powerful. Yeah, I think the culture piece is really powerful. And even going back to what you mentioned at the beginning with going from being an employee to being, whether you're a business owner, you know, CEO, or just entrepreneur in general, there is some mindset shifts, I'm sure that have to happen with that, you know, and you move into the space of now you are, I've heard, what is it, hire slowly, fire quickly. And it's that same thing yes. with culture. And that was a conversation I was just having with another entrepreneur friend this morning of just the hard conversations of going in business with people you love, whether it's best friends or family, or, you know, once you get into that space to really protect your brand, I love that. Just a good reminder to, you know, it could be a stranger that could be a good fit for your company. And that's mm -hmm. really cool. That's really cool. Um, well, obviously your wife and I believe a mom. So how yes. are you balancing all those other roles on top of running this very successful company? Yeah. Um, so just to warning, I'm a real talk kind of gal, so I'm never going to sugarcoat anything. Um, I feel like sugarcoating is what leads to comparing and feeling like mm -hmm. people have it all figured out. 
Um, full transparency, I don't have it figured all out. And, and there's not, there's not a perfect balance. I mean, in your life, you're always going to be giving a part of yourself more to something, um, than the other. And, um, in this season, I feel like, you know, my youngest son is, he'll be two in October. His name's Teddy. He is just the love of my life. Um, but as a mom and so, and I'm also a bonus mom, I have a 14 year old bonus son, Talon, and a nine-year-old daughter, Harper. Harper lives with us and she's, she's my girl. Um, and then my husband, I, I feel like I'm in a season of pouring out more and pouring out more, um, to, for Luna and my family. And so there's not a lot of time left for me. <laughs> um, but that's still, that's not an excuse. So I am, I am right now in a season of figuring out, okay, where are those pockets of refreshment for me so that I can be inspired and have energy to be the mom I need to be, the wife that I want to be, and the leader that I really need to be um, for Luna. So um, I think right now I time block. Um, I think the question was, how are you doing it? Um, I yeah. time block. I delegate. Delegating is if you're not willing to delegate, you're not going to scale your business. Just mm -hmm. plain and simple. You have to have the right people on your team doing the tasks that you don't need to be doing as a CEO. Um, I've been saying this a lot because this is something I'm focusing on. But as a CEO, you need to be focusing on product and profit and mm -hmm. everything else you need to delegate um, if possible. I did not delegate all of that overnight, but yeah, so time blocking and, and having fun outside of work. I, I feel like as a wife and a mom and dishes and laundry and work fires and new clients and, you know, it's like, uh, um, you know, you still need to have fun and you need to stay rooted and grounded in who you are and, and what lights you up. So Anyways, that was a really long answer. This is, mm -hmm. I'm very passionate about that question. That's actually something I'm like currently um, going through. I love that. No, I feel like once I re-listen to this, that's going to be a good, like, just pause it, keep listening again. There's so much good <laughs> stuff from here. I'm not even going to try to unpack that. There's so many good quotes. <laughs> I'll go back and re-listen to that. That's amazing. So obviously you mentioned at the beginning, not only are you doing Luna, now you're starting a coaching business, which is incredible. Yeah. And I don't know where that fits into all that. I'm sure part of the scaling, you know, kind of slowing down to speed up in some perspectives, but what does that look like to have now, not only Luna with an amazing team that it sounds like you can kind of delegate yourself some things to, but now to add the coaching business piece. Yeah. So I've been coaching for a while now and truly that's what lights me up. Um, I love getting to partner with a woman who, you know, she has, you know, the clients that I have that I'm coaching right now, they're at varying degrees of confidence. Um, mm -hmm. They're all super amazing, super talented and have an amazing story. And sometimes you just need someone to help guide you on what to do next, how to present your company online. Um, and sometimes you need a swift kick in the butt or you need, you know, a pep talk. And so I love getting to be that person for my clients. Um, and coaching is something I've always wanted to do. Haven't always had capacity to do it. And frankly, I haven't always had the confidence that I've needed mm -hmm. to do it. And so, um, now just feels like the right time. And, um, like I've mentioned, I've been able to delegate, um, the things that I need to delegate so that I can, so that I can be available to these women. Um, and to me, they fit hand in hand, Drew's coaching business and Luna. They just, they kind of work well together. Yeah. Thanks for being vulnerable and sharing that about your own confidence. I think that is key to the continue to stretch yourself as a business owner. I'm sure Absolutely. it's easy sometimes to probably get very not content, but maybe comfortable and not apathetic, but just kind of comfy where you are. And so if you want to continue to help your clients grow, to continue to put yourself in uncomfortable positions where you get to grow, especially when you know that's where you have a heartbeat and a passion. I think that's Absolutely. Really Any fun dreams or goals for you coming up in the next, I mean, I, obviously Luna, five years, now you're launching a coaching business, so much new coming up for you. 
We have so many new things. I feel like we're rebranding Luna right now, and that will be rolling out at the beginning of September. Um, again, we're kind of changing our business model. We're, we're scaling back to scale up. Um, so I'm super excited about that. We're going to open up a wait list for people to join to work with us um, on the Luna side. And then um, DrewDefer.com launches September website. I, I want it to be full of resources for women, but then um, I will have, um, I'm going to have 10 spots available on my calendar to coach women one-on-one. -on -one. Um, four of those spots are already taken. So there's going to be six spots available. And then we also have, um, there's one spot available. A, a company can hire me to be their head of brand. So maybe they already have uh, a social media manager or someone who is kind of taking um, the like day-to-day -day task of marketing, but they really need help directing that person and um, and rolling out some really amazing campaigns. So someone can hire me to do that with their team. Um, and then we'll also have um, one other service. It's called the program, Get With The Program, where we will help you from build your brand from the ground up um, communication wise. So we will revamp your mission statement, your tagline, your impact language, your brand dictionary, and we will help you map out how you're showing up online and really making an impact. Um, I think a lot of times women are like, and I'm saying women because you guys are my people. Um, I love men too, but women are where it's at for me. But we're a little scared sometimes to show up online because we're like, oh, are we doing it right? Oh, how does this come across? Does this make sense? I, that is like the number one question I'm asked. Does this make sense? <laughs> and so I'm going to give these women that confidence. Yes, it makes sense. Go post it. Go be seen. Mm, girl, so much power. I'm just so like lit up just to meet you. I love it. It makes me want to get with the program. I'm here for it. Huh. And just to give you guys listeners, I'm going to hit on a couple of things that Drew can speak to from a results standpoint. So if you're even thinking through like, is this a good fit for me? So she has in her team, obviously have helped brands to triple their influence online, reach their highest profit launch day, land a dream speaking gig. And most importantly to them, get back to what they have loved doing best on their online platform is being taken care of. So, you know, if any of that resonates with you, I can just speak from personal experience and that she's a great place to land. And like she said, you're going to have fun along the way, which I can't imagine a more fun thing to do with your marketing department. And like you said, <laughs> delegate, get with the program and delegate to Drew. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Drew, is there anything that we didn't touch on that you wanted to make sure that we get out there? You, family, Luna, coaching, anything we missed that you want to be sure that you get to share? I think I would want to wrap this episode up with this little bow. Uh, so I think you know this. Back in 2018, I had brain surgery. Um, I had a horrible brain injury and I had to have corrective surgery. And when I was going through that season, I... I'm sure you can tell I'm a mover and a shaker. I cannot be still. Even when I'm at home, I'm like, you know, doing things. And I just felt like I was stuck in a rut and I did not know how I was going to move forward. And I felt very limited. That whole season, I felt like God spoke this to me over and over and over again. Expect good news. Expect good news. So every time I'd go to the doctor, expect good news. Every time I would. At the time, I had a, a fashion blog and I was selling vintage clothes in California. Um, but every time I would like go to do a pop up, expect good news. Um, and so I, from 2018 onward, I've, I've, I try my best to live my life by those words, expect good news. And so I just want every woman out there who owns a business that's listening to this to know as you are going through entrepreneurship, there are going to be days where you're going to want to give up. There are going to be mm -hmm. days where you don't feel like you're good enough. You don't feel like you're good at your job. You feel like you're constantly disappointing people or letting your family down. I want you to know, number one, that's your business is not your identity. It's not who you are. Mm -hmm. It's, it's what you're do. It's what you do. And it's how you help people. But number two, expect good news and just know that those bad days are going to end and those amazing days are coming. Um, and so as you go through the entrepreneur journey of up and down, up and down, 
expect good news. I have cold chills and a little bit of tears. That's amazing, girl. <laughs> My drop. The end. I've always heard if it's not good, it's not done. So expect yes. good news, you guys. I just want to thank you so much, Drew, for your time and your vulnerability. You're so and your welcome. Me. I'm so excited for you and all that. I mean, really, the next rest of this year and 2025 is going to hold. We will put everywhere that they can connect with you in the show notes, but I'll let you share too. Where can people connect with you? Yeah, so follow um, two accounts on Instagram, uh, drew.defer, D-E-F-I-R. And then Luna is luna.marketing.studio. And then drewdefer.com will be launching September 16th. So set your calendar reminders. Um, And then Luna's website is lunamarketingstudio.com. Oh, so good. Well, thank you again so much for your time and your wisdom. I'm excited to see all that comes out of you and hopefully some new clients out of these episodes and oh, just so excited to follow along on the journey, girl. So grateful for you. Yes. Thank you so much for having me on. Okay, friend. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Feel free to share this podcast with another friend who it may inspire. Leave a review to possibly be featured at the beginning of another episode and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the stories that could help unlock your dream for you.